Oh my goodness. So kids are lucky they got all sorts of stuff we didn't have growing up, right? Yeah, they got the no child left behind. We went to school, that was the motto for the school bus driver. <laughs> Many years ago, I was trying to get some work at a casino near L.A., so I called and was told to mail my videotape to a booker. A few weeks later, I actually got a call back from her. She introduced herself, and then she proceeded to give me a non-stop critique of my videotape. <laughs> yeah, she said she'd watched it and that I don't move around much and that I really need to act out my comedy more. You know, walk around and really make motions like I'm doing something, whatever the joke is. This woman went on and on and on for like 20 minutes about my tape. And, oh, by the way, she happened to teach a comedy class. Yeah, would I be interested in paying for that? I said, probably not. She went on and on for more time and kept at it about this class she teaches. I finally cut in and said, you know, I've been performing full-time, making a living at this for years with that act. Just standing there, no acting out. And it's going fine. She stopped, and there was a little pause, and then she said, Well, I could probably feature you at the casino, but not headline you. I said, Well, that's what I'm looking for, feature work. Then she said, Well, maybe sometime you can work with my dad at the casino. I said, Wow, your dad is a comedian? And she just said, Yeah, my whole family is in comedy. Turns out her dad, brother, and mother are very famous in this business. Yeah, I just didn't make the connection when I heard her last name. Now, I'm not going to say anything about her classes because I didn't take them, but as far as I knew, she had not herself done comedy like the rest of her family. She booked a room and she taught a class and had a comedy family. That's it. So I was kind of confused about how she could offer a class on how to do comedy if she hasn't made her living at it. Yeah, I was finally able to get off the phone with her without becoming her student, <laughs> and I didn't ask for a booking, but I was really ticked off. I mean, she seemed like she had one formula for doing stand-up, and she taught that formula in her class, and that's it. No room for other kinds of comedy. You need to act out or get out. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny that someone who hasn't made their living in this business as an entertainer would teach a class. I know she has a comedy family, but so what? My dad was in the publishing business, but I would never try to tell you how to publish something. It was his thing, not mine. There are so many people in this business and other businesses who will try to sell you a book or a class or coaching who haven't really done it for a living. And that's the key. If you're going to try something new, anything, you don't want theories. You want to learn from people who have actually paid their mortgage with it. They still may not have all the answers, but at least they can tell you what has worked for them. Now, I have a book, Finding the Funny Fast. I'm not going to make you buy it, <laughs> but it does lay out how to write humor fast. I know how to do that because I have paid a mortgage with my joke writing. I once got a book review that was just awful from a guy who's never sold comedy material to anyone. I would have been upset about it, but I didn't see the review until a couple years after he posted it. <laughs> so I just had to laugh because it really didn't hurt me any. But what right does he have to bash my book when he hasn't done what I'm doing? The takeaway from this is, if someone says they can show you how to do something, anything, make sure they actually do it themselves. Get samples, ask for references, dig around and find out their real accomplishments. Otherwise, you're just getting theories and opinions, and you can get those for free on the internet. That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Feel free to check out my website, theworklady.com. This is Jan. Take care and enjoy your journey. <laughs>